What's up guys, good morning. Today is finally iPhone day. So it is 8 a.m. My pickup time is 9 and 9.30 for the Apple Watch and the iPhone. And let's make a vlog out of it. So I'm gonna leave in a couple minutes. I'm gonna drive over to the mall, pick up my brand new iPhone and rush back to unbox. So as you guys can already see, I've actually set everything up and I'm ready to go. So the minute I get back from the Apple store, I'm going to go right towards it, get those unboxings done, and upload it as quickly as I can. So you're probably seeing this vlog after the unboxings, but I am so excited and ready to go for today. Um, as you guys can probably tell, my throat is a little bit down and out, but hey, what can we do? It's iPhone day, I'm super excited. Let's go. <laughs> All right guys, so I am back from the Apple store. Sorry I wasn't able to get more footage. There was just a lot going on, a lot of people, and I was just spending time talking to people, so I didn't feel like filming. But uh, I got it. I was able to pick up exactly what I wanted. I mean, no doubt, I, I reserved them. So here's the Series 4 Apple Watch. Here is the iPhone 10s Max, 256 gig. And I also picked up a case. Now, the case was the most surprising part for me. I wasn't expect Like, I, I usually get Spigen cases for all my phones. The problem here was that um, all the cases are going to be, like, a few days out. And I wanted something to protect my phone. And I really do like the Apple cases, the leather ones. So I decided to pick up this Product Red 10S Max case. Now, this is the first time I'm going to be using a leather case. And... Red is a very different color for me. Generally, I always stick to blue or clear or black, worst case. So, so having something like this is gonna be very different for me. I wanted it because I really like the black and red combo. I really <laughs> wish that the iPhone uh, XS came in that combo, but unfortunately it doesn't. So I'm gonna try it with this. Let's see how it is. And this way I can actually give you guys a insight on how the leather case kind of lasts for me in comparison to some of the old different spy gen ones that I have. Apple Watch also, it is the uh, Space Gray 44 millimeter uh, aluminum case. I didn't go for the uh, stainless steel because I know that I'm going to end up upgrading the, the Apple Watch at some point. So I was like, what's the point in spending $800 when I'm going to spend it again in a year or two? So the Apple Watch, I got the base one. I got the larger screen. But I, let me tell you, I saw it in the store and oh my god, the screen is just so much nicer. Uh, the 10s gold and uh, the silver and space gray. Space gray and silver are the most boring ones, I'll be honest. But the gold, I, I just couldn't see myself using that. So I went with the more boring of the space gray option. Anyways, I put a case on it. You really can't see anything besides it. So space gray it is. And luckily, all went well. It did, the line was... A little bit, you know, I had a check-in time of 9 o'clock and 9.30 for my phone. Uh, for watch, it was 9 o'clock. Uh, for the um, phone, it was 9.30. So I got there about 8.45, 8.50. Took me a couple minutes to get inside the mall because it was still, the mall was technically closed. 
So uh, I had to find the entrance. I couldn't get through the usual place that I go through because it was through a store. So a lot of stuff like that going on. But I met a couple people along the way. We were all find, trying to find a way in. We finally did. We got inside. And once we got inside, there was uh, there were two lines. There was one line for the people who hadn't reserved stuff. And there was one line for people who had reserved stuff. So, I mean, it wasn't that crowded. To be honest with you, there was probably... 40 or 50 people at most. Um, some of these pictures I've seen from other Apple stores are crazy. This one was a lot more subdued and it was really handled well. Uh, I was able to look at cases, I was able to figure everything out and uh, just overall it was a great experience. I spent a couple minutes looking at the rest of the phones as well. Uh, the gold color was okay, not something I really enjoyed but uh, anyways I didn't have to get it so I didn't. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get to unboxing these and once I unbox them, I'm gonna show them to you a little bit more. All right guys, so I just finished filming the unboxing of the Apple Watch and I am actually really impressed by it. And um, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna finish off the unboxing for the iPhone and the red leather case and then I'm gonna have to go sit down and edit these as well. So let's move on to the iPhone. All right guys, so before I start unboxing that iPhone, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, grab my iPhone 10 box so that I can show off the differences between them. So. Right now, I'm going to go into my box of iPhones, which is a huge mess right now because I was moving things around yesterday. There we go. I found the iPhone 10 box. And there we go. All right. So, just a, excuse the huge mess, but right now that's the way it is because I'm focused on getting stuff done. So, here's my iPhone 10 box. And it, it'll be a cool way to show how Apple kind of embraced the notch last year. And then this year, they're kind of just completely acting like it does not exist. A very cool comparison. And I am glad that I have this box handy so I can show it off right in the video. All right. So I'm going to start filming this video and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys. So I just wrapped up unboxing the iPhone XS Max and this uh, leather case I got for it as well. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it in this video before, or I mean, I did mention it in my video of the phone, the case is unboxing, that I generally don't like red as a color. I'm not a big fan, and I usually avoid it at all costs, but this time I really did like the red and black combo. I really like it on the iPhone 8 Plus. I really liked it on the 10R as well, so I am looking forward to kind of using this. I wasn't, initially, I wasn't gonna pick it up because I thought it was too, it was just light red, but then, an Apple Store employee said that, you know, it is a leather case, so it does patina over time, which I do agree with him. Leather does wear and create this different kind of effect. So I'm hoping it kind of transforms itself into a darker cherry red of sorts. So unboxing is finally done. I haven't set up the phone yet. Honestly, I can't. I have to finish up the uh, edit for the unboxing so I can have that uploaded, and then I will set these up because they do take... A while to get set up and uh, into place so that is the life of a youtuber it's not all glamorous I mean it is obviously super glamorous I am unboxing the best products on the day they come out but you know I can't just waste time using the the phone right now I have to finish editing everything and then uh, I can actually just go to setting it up and editing it all so I don't mean to sound weird and whiny about it but that is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna hop over here onto my computer and start editing and once i'm done with the edit i will come back to you guys all right guys here's a sit rep so it is 203 p.m and i am working really hard on getting those videos out so if you guys can see i actually finished filming i put everything away to the side and uh, i'm working on it my computer is actively exporting the video at 45 percent i tried very hard to make it go as fast as i can actually uh, the video before this, I exported the Apple Watch unboxing. That failed. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know that I've had a lot of issues with my MacBook right now. And I actually bought a new MacBook to replace it, but I haven't started using that yet because I don't have the dongles for it. That sounds so stupid, but yes, I did not buy all the dongles, so I'm still waiting to use that computer. But the export is happening. I hope it's quick and I can uh, get it live because I'm already getting messages, which is so, su like, it's so cool, but I, it feels really bad at the same time. People are asking me, hey, when's the video gonna be up? I'm waiting for it. I haven't slept yet because I wanna see your video. That's just like, it's so 
awesome, but at the same time, I feel so bad because I can't get this video out and I'm trying so hard to. So technology here is failing me. I am trying to go as quickly as I can. Hopefully it doesn't fail me anymore, but let's see. So I'm gonna check in with you after a couple minutes and then uh, hopefully at some point in this video, I can actually show you guys when I start using the Apple Watch and uh, the iPhone. All right guys, so another update. So the video failed on me again, the expert failed. So what I had to do is I, uh, I completely shut down every application I had. I turned off the computer, I reset the PRAM and now I have the export going again. It is at 14%. So it is moving along a lot faster than it was before. It's not a very complicated uh, video, guys. There is nothing on this. There's just uh, a very simple timeline, and still it's kind of struggling here on me, but hopefully it'll be done quick. Now, that's actually one of the main reasons why I bought a new MacBook, which is sitting right here. You guys can't see it, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, let's hopefully this works so I don't have to waste more time on this. Oh. All right, guys, so I have lost count now. My computer keeps crashing. Uh, I mean, the computer doesn't crash, but uh, Final Cut keeps failing my export, which means that, you know, once that happens, the only way to really make anything else work is for me to completely show off my computer, turn it on, and then wait for it to boot back up again, and then try to export all again. So today, this is the third error I've had. Uh, I'm just so fed up right now. I've my goal was to try to get these videos up like as soon as possible because I mean today is the best day for kind of you know the the hype is there so people are gonna watch the video so the fact that I'm not able to get these videos up is just it's messing with my head. So all right, I'm gonna try this one more time. Let's see. Oh, come on. So this is, you know, that's one of the main reasons why I actually just had to give up on this laptop. It's just, it can't handle the, the load I'm throwing at it anymore. It used to be really just, it could handle it, but I mean, this, this machine was never meant for editing. It was never meant to be a video editor. So, I mean, whatever it's done, it's great. But right now it's just really bugging me. So again, I'm going to try to export this. And I mean, it's nothing that, as I said, the timeline is nothing crazy, a very simple timeline, uh, and it's still just not working. So let's try this one more time. So I'll just show you how, what I do. I'm gonna share it to 1080p. It's not even that, it's a 1080p 60 FPS uh, video. It's not that complex. It should not, you know, I mean, if it is 4K, I understand, you know, the, but, for this simple of a video, I don't think that it should be that problematic. All right, and you guys can see the estimated file size is 1.39 gig. All right, I'm gonna try to export one more time and see what happens. Save, all right, export, let's see. So it's gonna start, the worst part is that the last two times this happened, it failed at like, it passed 80%, so that was, a good long while I was waiting, and then that all that time was wasted. Uh, productivity killed. Time is you know time is just going on, and if it were to fail, if it failed early on through the process, it's a different story. But just uh, I I'm bitching too much right now, so I'm just gonna see what I can do about this, and I'm not gonna come back to you and bitch about this again. I will only give you guys an update once this is done and it's uploaded. All right, guys, time for another. I mean positive uh, yes yeah, so i'm just i'm all lost for words i'm super cooked right now my brain's dead but uh it is 4 27 and i have successfully uploaded all three videos and i am good to go on that front i know i said i was going to do four videos but right now i'm thinking three is enough because honestly it'll be a lot of content in a very short span i don't know if people will watch it or not so i'm going to space it out uh, I'll put out the other video either tomorrow or day after. I'll, I'll decide kind of when I want to do that, but it, it will be out. But luckily, I'm done with the uploads for today. I'm planning on taking a little bit of a break for maybe an hour or so 
gonna kind of detach from the screens and the phone and everything that's all i've been doing all day all morning social media i've been editing uploading blah 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 so right now i'm gonna take a little bit of a break relax myself and then when i get back from that break i am going to finally set up my iphone 10 max 10s max and that brand new series for apple watch so ha. Huh. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but I ended up just taking a nap instead of going out or relaxing. Um, no problem. I actually kind of feel refreshed. And I am going to finally, finally set up uh, my brand new iPhone X, uh, XS Max. I'm sorry. I hate saying that name. It is so long and so annoying. And I'm going to set up uh, the Apple Watch as well. So... Um, what I'll do is I'll just actually put it on time lapse because you don't want to see the whole process anyway. So uh, let's jump to a time lapse. So I finally started the process and I am waiting. So the official start has started. It says about nine minutes. We're starting from my cloud. I got a tripod set up with a time lapse. But not sure how that angle is going to turn out, so might as well keep you guys updated. And once this is done, I will get the Apple Watch out, and uh, I'll do another unboxing, basically, because I packed it all up again, and I will get it going again. So okay. seems to be doing pretty good. Let's see. This is actually a day later. Uh, I'm editing the vlog, and I realized I never filmed an outro, so I did set up the apple watch it's awesome i love it the screen is a huge improvement over the last one and overall it's been just a very long video i just edited it and it's already at like 17 some minutes so a lot of scrambling going on i'm so sorry but i just wanted to share the entire day with you that was throughout the day from start to end for me it was a really good day really kind of got stressful in the middle with the uh, uploads failing on me but overall i think it was a great day um the Detroit board actually liked one of my Instagram posts and commented on it as well. So it was an awesome day overall. I really enjoyed the unboxings and I really enjoyed doing everything. So thank you so much guys for watching. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more content on the iPhone XS Max. And if you haven't already, again, uh, follow me on social media. I have all the links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will catch you in the next one. Uh -huh.